hey battle base it's me andrea welcome back to another vlog so today is the day my furniture is supposed to be officially delivered so i just finished filming an empty apartment tour and the kids are still sleeping they're over here hold on wait a second is that both of them okay okay the kids are still sleeping Sam is being era just as usual. Okay. So I finished filming an apartment tour because I wanted to make sure it was done and filmed before the movers got here and started bringing everything in. So yeah, that's all done. And they're supposed to be here between eight and 12 and it's only about to be nine o'clock. It's 0858, so um, yeah, hopefully they don't take all day to come, y'all. I have the longest final today because, you know, I was taking, I took um, general chemistry one. I'm so mad that literally every test that we've taken so far has been under 70 questions. I think the longest test I've taken with this, um, with this course so far has been like 64 questions, y'all. The final exam, even the midterm was like 60 questions. The final exam is 100 and 77 questions why for what reason but i mean i just don't feel like doing it but it is on a schedule today to do so i will be doing it and i actually have to call the school i have to call the school today and speak to the chemistry department because i need to ask for permission to take chem 2 without taking chem 1 lab the school that i go to you have to take general chemistry one in the lab in order to move on to the higher chemistries. But since I decided that I'm going to go for the IPAT program instead of the ACP program. So for those of you who don't know what that is, the IPAT program is the Army's PAs or Physician Assistance Program. And the ACP is the Army's Nursing Program. So... I thought because now that I'm an LPN, I'm a nurse and everything, it would just make sense to move on to the ACP, get my RN, go on to be a nurse practitioner. But for years now, I've been preparing to go to, um, well, to apply to the IPAP program, which is the physician assistant program, because I've always wanted to be a physician assistant. And becoming an LPN and being around a bunch of nurses, I was hearing so many good things about nursing and I was running into all these nurse practitioners telling me, yes, 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 go nurse practitioner. You need to stay a nurse. When in reality, I know what my goals were. I know what I wanted to do. I know what I've been working hard for. I know what I'm focused on. And so I decided to go back to that. And this is why it only makes sense. In order to do the ACP program, I have to meet all the requirements of the um the school that i would choose to go to versus getting the prerequisites and stuff that i need for ipap and i've been doing that for a few years and i've only have one class left which is going to be that chemistry class before i have every prereq that i need in order to apply to that program i don't know maybe i'm just ranting right now but just know i decided to apply for the ipad program and this is one of the reasons i seriously cannot wait to get back to work so i can jump in head first do what i need to do so i can get these letters of recommendation now because that's something i really want to do it's it's that is my goal so enough about that i'm about to go ahead and make me some breakfast <clears throat> because at this point i'm about to wake these kids up with all this talking that i'm doing but what i'm eating for breakfast so one since we haven't had anything we got a bunch of um microwavable foods in here and i ran across this when i say i had one of these a few days ago and it's so dang good it makes absolutely no sense so that's what i'm about to eat for breakfast i'm about to start charging all of my things to get ready for this final and make some phone calls get all that stuff off my to-do list that is so dark but i'm just getting up from a nap i had to take a freaking nap after um all of the stuff was delivered and i got something to eat i took a two and a half hour nap but this is everything that i have to um unpack so 
all of this these totes these boxes there's some stuff here that was packed that wasn't even supposed to be packed because it was garbage so now i have to unpack that huh okay um yeah so i'm kind of irritated because a lot of the hardware to like put the beds and stuff together was missing so now i have to try to like yeah i'm gonna file a claim but in the meantime they still need beds and stuff to sleep on my desk is ruined like so much of my stuff is messed up like my tv stand over here the back is completely i don't even know if you can kind of see that but the back is peeling off um it's just i don't i don't understand why the army pays some people if they're going to be completely careless with you know people's things i was telling my sister earlier i understand that you can file a claim and you can get your money back and stuff like that but that's an inconvenience okay that's an inconvenience because not only do i have to do what i need to do to file the claim i have to prove to you that you damaged my stuff or the cost that something is really going to take because I know when this happened, when I moved to Texas, I had to do all of this, like sending this item here, sending this item there, because they kept trying to shortchange me on some of the stuff that would have needed to be replaced. It was absolutely ridiculous. And not only do I have to file the claim, I have to prove to you that you did it. I have to prove to you what you owe me. But once I get this money, I still have to be the one to go out to fix and do all of this stuff when you could have just took care of my stuff when you had it. That's what you were paid to do. So it's just so irritating. I'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff is messed up. Wait, hold on. I'm looking at this right now. It just completely distracted me because it's so crooked. I'm going to show you in a second. But <sighs> anyway, so yeah. Now I gotta go through all of this stuff, see what else they lost. Cause they even packed trash. Y'all, we unpacked the box. We unpacked the box and there was some, <laughs> hold on, let me see. So this stuff was sitting in the kitchen. It was trash. This is trash. They packed trash and sent it to us. And like there's an open box of cereal in here. There's an empty alcohol bottle in there somewhere. It like, you pack trash, okay? So, I don't know. But um, yeah, let me show you this real quick because it's really distracting me. Okay, so look at this right here. Is it just me? Or is that crooked as ever? <laughs> like this part, like, Oh, this part over here is way closer to the window ledge than this part, right? That's crooked, right? It's not just my eyeballs. But yeah, so now I'm just about to get me a cup of cherries because it is time, guys. It's time for me to take this final exam. That's honestly why I took the nap. I needed to take the nap so I can be rejuvenated, so I can sit down get through this freaking exam and be on my merry little way. So I'm about to do that real quick. It might take me a few hours and then hopefully I can check a few more things off my to-do list for today because I definitely, I'm struggling with that to-do list for today. So I just finished this final. Literally didn't even have time to really finish. I got down to the last like 10 questions and i was just guessing i got 142 out of 77 and i mean that's not bad i guess um it's about an 80 ish percent it wasn't bad i just didn't have enough time to really work some of the questions the way i wanted to and on top of that i've never come closer to having an aneurysm than i did when amia is asking me for snacks when I still have about 30 questions left, but only 20 minutes left on the clock. I don't understand. I don't get it at all. Huh? So, now I gotta check my to-do list. I did this final. I emailed the chair of the chemistry department. So I have to make a grocery list, make a shopping list. I have to do the apartment walkthrough. I have to print some papers off so I can close out my freaking travel does, voucher. Does, does this have mommy? Finish filling out Darian's paperwork for school because I want to turn it in tomorrow. So I'll do that tomorrow morning. 
I'm gonna try to do it tonight and turn it in early. Um, and I wanted to go on a run today, but that's not happening. Um, today was a fail. Today was seriously just a fail, and I don't. I'm not happy. I really thought that I. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so now what I'm about to do is I'm about to start unpacking some boxes. Sam. Sam. I'm about to start unpacking some boxes because I need to see what else. Um, I need to see what else I'm missing. I need to see what else is broken. I need to see what else these people lost. All that good stuff. So I can start trying to turn this apartment into somewhat of a home. I'm seriously about to have a heart attack. I don't... Okay, the bubble bean just started it. Hmm? Did they pop it? Mm-hmm. Oh. We have two oh. mixes, so. My goodness. Shh, just shh, for a second. Just a second. Okay. Okay, anyway, I, well, okay, positives, positives. I'm off to a good start. He asked me what class I wanted to be in, um, and I just want to make sure. So let me back up. So first of all, I have to email the chemical department chair to ask if I can go into this class. I kind of explained it a little bit earlier because I don't have all of the prerequisites I need to take this chemistry class. Um, I need special permission from either the department chair or the actual instructor mm -hmm. and since there is no instructor listed right now for that class i emailed the chair person of the department and he's it's not, it seems like he's giving me the okay so if i get the okay to take this class i'm gonna drop human development for fall take that sometime later on and then i should be good to go but yeah i just finished up this semester with Yay. a freaking b but Yay. there's no time to rest because my class is starting in another few days so did you mm -hmm. i cannot wait i do play I just, my card <sighs> I'm not doing anything else today. I have Darion's paperwork that I still have to do, but I can go ahead and do that. Um, I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning because I'm about to go through one of those um, buckets because, hold on, let me go and see. Because I need to find his birth certificate anyway. So I'll finish his paperwork in the morning. That way, that afternoon, I'll be able to drop off um, I'll be able to drop off his paperwork and he should be able to start school because that would be Thursday. If I drop it off early enough, he'll be able to start Friday morning. Okay. And I pulled the car into the garage earlier um, so they can move all of the stuff. And let's see. So this is how much room is still left back here. I gotta get these bikes together. I don't know where Mia's other. Why did they take? Like they took everything apart, and it's like they lost so many parts and stuff to it. Because I saw one of Mia's pedals to her bike. Hold on, watch out, boo. Where did I see that pedal? Yeah, see, there's only one pedal. <laughs> Where's her other pedal? <laughs> I don't know. You're just gonna ride the bike with one pedal now. Crazy. Crazy. Good morning, guys. Yes, I'm looking real toe up. I slept here last night, but um, just know until I get back to work and have to look like something, this is what you get. Okay. So right now we're in the process of. Jeez, oh, I look so busted. We in the process of unpacking. So we're working through all of this stuff. He already took some boxes and stuff upstairs. I found some of my military gear. So I think we're good. Uh, it might be there. So we have all of this stuff situated for now. What is that? That's going to be garbage because they broke that. Yeah. Do I have to back this car up? So I'm putting all of my pro gear in here. Ew. 
in this little area over here is things in here i gotta take that trash out i think the i think the trucks come tomorrow i have to remember to put the bins out tomorrow but yeah we're about to just go ahead and get through these freaking boxes yeah Be a soldier leaving basic training so bad. Y'all remember when I told y'all they pack literal garbage, literal trash? Look at this box. <laughs> Look at this box. You wanna know what was in this box? This. This one thing was in this box with all that paper. All this paper. So I just got up from taking a nap. I'm like five seconds away from having an anxiety attack, a panic attack, I don't know, because my iPad is not working. So I am taking classes and one of my classes actually starts on the 22nd. My biology um, A&P one starts on the 22nd and it's the 20th. So I need my iPad to be working, right? I've been using an iPad to do pretty much every single thing that I do for the past two years. And the apps that I've been using for these iPads have been the exact same apps that I've been using for every semester. This one in particular on this specific device, I've been using this for the past, like a past year and a half. I've been using this iPad for my classes and stuff like that. So the app that I have on there, the lockdown browser app that I have on there is the app that's been on there since I downloaded it. And so I just finished up the fall, sem fall, I just finished up the spring semester. I took a chemistry class in the spring semester and I just did a final yesterday with this app using lockdown browser and I didn't have any issues. Now, granted, when I was using this app, for some reason my professors wasn't requiring the the webcam portion of the app because apparently that's optional this instructor is so i get up i notice that she posted things in canvas and i can go in and i can do some of the assignments for this week before i go to work that way i don't have as much on my plate to do so i get in and i try to do the little one question exam that we are supposed to do just to see if the system and stuff works and it kicked me out a few times when i was trying to do the little webcam check and stuff like that and so i kept getting back in i did that like twice and now literally my ipad has been stuck on lockdown browser for the past hour i don't even know if you can see that let me see it's stuck i can't do anything like i can't log out i can't turn turn off the screen i even tried pushing all the buttons to um i tried pushing all the buttons so i can force um, close it or shut it off nothing's working I cannot get this iPad off of lockdown browser and so I contact the instructor I talked to her about it she gave me the um, the help desk for technology services for the school that I go to and I contact them and they were no help at all I mean I'm just he took my abuse okay he took my verbal abuse i wasn't really i wasn't really abusive but 
I was upset and you can tell. So um, yeah, he was basically saying that they don't cover, if my iPad is crashed right now, they don't cover personal devices. And the fact that I just used this app yesterday for my final, and I just used it a few weeks ago for a midterm, and it was just working perfectly fine all day today because I was using it when my phone was charging and now I get, I get up and try to use this system, my iPad is not working at all. Oh my gosh, it's really, it's pissing me off because I even, like it's, so again, this is on 41%. I gotta wait for it to die again because it's been like this, okay? It's been like this. It's actually died and when I turned it, when I charged it and turned it back on, it was still stuck on lockdown browser. They're telling me, oh, go to Apple. You're gonna have to reset it or you're gonna have to do this or oh, I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. What? So, mm. I'm so irritated. But yeah, so anyway, I'm trying my hardest to remain calm. I really am. I broke my foot. You broke your foot? And you a bed. Oh, my bed? I don't have a bed. So that's cute. You lied. I broke it. You broke it? Now I gotta go to the hospital. Now you gotta go to the hospital? Mm hmm Let me see. It's broken. Hmm? It's broken right here. Mm-hmm. And like that? Mm-hmm. So when I do this, is it broken? Here? Is it broken right there? Yes. So right about here? Yes. And here too? Yes. Oh yeah. That's so broken. Uh -huh. Yeah. Anyway, so between packing, uh, well unpacking this stuff in the living room, me taking a nap and having a nervous breakdown, um, I was able to get the internet and stuff connected. So the internet, we have Wi-Fi now, which is a plus because I've been, okay. Cause I've been burning through my hotspot on my phone. My next bill is probably about to be really expensive. Um, we have cable. I'm about to start unpacking this stuff in the kitchen. So I have this box here, that box, and then two boxes over here. Didn't care for one another, you and I, you and I Thought I was okay, till something in me changed Don't know why, don't know why You got me high, but I'm sober You make me lonely when I'm by myself It's a little past midnight and Amia is sleeping. We went to sleep, we were watching Clarence and now I'm about to make me some food. We finished unpacking the stuff for the kitchen. It's just, now we have all these boxes and stuff that we have to put outside tomorrow somehow. And we also have all this food. We had our little non-perishables packed and a bunch of other stuff that we have to now find somewhere to place. But, um, so within all that time, 
I was waiting for my freaking iPad to die because again, it was stuck on um, the lockdown browser. So it took hours and now it's finally unlocked. I don't know if you can even see that, but it's finally unlocked. But now I'm trying to figure out if I want to attempt to do this again. Hold on, I'm gonna try to do this really quick. So, let's see. And I took it off the charger so it's not charging as much. That way, if it does need to die again, I'm not waiting for hours. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, actually, let me throw this on a charger just for a second. Boom. And I did it. Okay. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Crisis averted. I took out the trash. I got all the big boxes and stuff out. Well, some of the big boxes and stuff out. I did the walkthrough for the apartment because that paper is actually due today. I did a little workout. Um, it wasn't much at all, but I did a little workout. But I'm about to go outside. I'm gonna actually hopefully look like something. I've been looking and feeling like crap for the past few days. And I'm just trying to get out of this little rut, honestly, that I feel like I'm thinking deeper and deeper into. So I'm about to try to do my hair, um, probably throw some makeup, wash my body, all that good stuff. And hopefully next time I'm on here, I look a little bit better than this. We'll see, no guarantees. I can't make any promises. Okay, so I finally got ready. You like? I tried, okay. I got in the shower, I, um, did my hair, I just put a little, um, one of the long braids, low braids in my hair. Did some makeup, I finally got my clothes. So I have on this little outfit. I found my freaking necklace. So I have this super cute necklace on. Hold on. You probably can't even see me, can you see me? Anyway, so first of all, I don't have my glasses on because I wanted to show y'all my makeup. But we're now leaving out. I got some, oh, where's my folder? I got some errands and stuff that I have to run, starting with dropping some paper off at Darion's school. Well, his what's going to be his new school and um, dropping this little thing off in the office. So they're in here with the car running in a garage. Good thing the garage is open y'all trying to die so 
Huh? So yeah, we're about to go ahead and run some errands. I still got to go to some stores and stuff like that. I was. <laughs> uh, do we have anything? Ooh, my wallet. Huh? Um, checking it. Hold on. None of my wallet is in the kitchen. This is why I leave my, let me not say that. This is why I leave my wallet in a car because I will leave it somewhere. And now I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I gotta buy iron, y'all. My freaking uniform is real wrinkly and we don't have a dryer or anything yet. Was my card in there? Huh? Not the card? Hold on. Oh, now I got it. Cookies. Oh, shoot. She got some cookies in there. She got some cookies. You got your ID? Yeah, I got my whole one. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, you can have one. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to just sit it here. Y'all, I took some super cute pictures too. And that's why y'all need to follow me on Instagram. Alright, here. I'm going to put these away. Alright, let's get... Wait, where's the... Where's the... Oh. I can't believe it. Chocolate can be everywhere. Okay. This thing is yours. Oh, my finger. Girl, guess who called me today? Check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time out to be and live my life. Hey. Taking just don't do and live my life. Don't take it personal. We just building. I hit this stuff when I tried it. <laughs> it's fine. I did a good job. I did good. Let's go. Oh, hold on. Let me let me make sure the car is back far enough while I'm playing games. Okay, I think it's back far enough. I don't know what I'm doing. finish but we got a decent amount done here in the kitchen and this is the pantry so far it could be a bit more organized but this is a good start 
And Amia is asking for a popsicle, so let me grab that. Y'all should have saw how upset she was. I know that TV is so loud, but y'all should have saw how upset she was that I made her eat her broccoli. I mean, it was the most dramatic seed. <sighs> All because she didn't want to eat her broccoli. I'm trying to sit this down. Is it good? Good. Okay. So she is going to eat her popsicle because she did eat her food just a little bit ago. I'm going to get one of these because I haven't eaten since around breakfast time and I'm hungry and tired. I feel like I need a nap, but um, I'm going to try not to take one. And. I just want to sit and watch TV and eat something to eat, honestly, and get on Pinterest. So, yeah. Hey guys, so it is the next morning and I'm still wearing the same thing. I just put my clothes back on because it was kind of cold um, this morning. But so far, this vlog is kind of all over the place, which is fine. It's fitting. I'm just moving in, I'm just moving to a new town, doing new stuff in a new unit. I'm doing a lot of new stuff so it's understandable that i'm all over the place so just understand my content might reflect that just a little bit but i'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog right here that way it's not too long i'm not stretching on too long i'm not sure how long this one is about to be but don't forget to comment like subscribe leave any comments and recommendations and anything else that you have down below um and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning.